One of the holiest and most intense moments of the Yom Kippur Tefillah is Seder HaVodah. It's the description of when the Kohen Gadol enters Kodesh Kadashim once a year. There's intense preparation for this moment, and the Kohen Gadol enters alone with a special rope tied around his waist in case all that preparation was unsuccessful and he is chas v'shalom deemed unworthy. But if he is deemed worthy, what is it that he says in those moments when the fate of the nation and his own immediate fate rest in the balance? And we have a description in our Sidur that the Kohen Gadol says to Hashem that it may be his will that this year be a year where the rain comes in the right time and where Hashem doesn't listen to the prayers of travelers who might ask that the rain should not come. That it should be a year where there is Parnasa Tova for all of Am Yisrael and that we shouldn't need to borrow from each other or definitely not from another nation. That it be a year where a woman doesn't miscarry and that the trees of the field should give their fruit and that the rule of the house of David should continue. And that's it. But a closer look at the tefillah shows that there's two times in the tefillah where it says shana, the word shana. So if, I, if we could divide that for a moment, the first shana is talking about the rain, that we ask Hashem that he not listen to the tefillot of those who are passing by because they're asking that it not rain, that they shouldn't get caught up in the storm. But we know that especially in the land of Israel, that rain is a very necessary component for the growth of the crops, for the growth of the fruit, for the growth of the, visual, the vegetables, for sustenance of the Jewish people in the land of Israel. And I think that what this tefillah is really asking is that Hashem help us to also understand that sometimes we think we have an immediate need, but it's a fleeting need. It's something that we need at the moment and not something that we need for the longer term. And when we have that immediate fleeting need, our tefillot are intense. And we turn to Hashem and we beg and we ask and, it's, and it fills our hearts and therefore reaches Shamayim. But sometimes when we have the needs that are ordinary and we have the needs that are part of our daily lives, those to feel out are not necessarily as strong. And we're asking Hashem to listen to the tefillot of the ordinary, of the day-to-day, -day, of the needs that are constant in our lives, and not just to the tefillot of the immediate needs. Number one. Number two time where it says shana is shana shalot ba isha epri bitna, that a woman should not miscarry. And I saw a beautiful thought from Rav David Gottlieb. And he says that in this tefillah, it's not necessarily only referring to a pregnant woman. That in pregnancy, there are challenges, there are sacrifices that a pregnant woman makes in the anticipation that a healthy baby will be born. And that if chas v'shalom, that baby is not born, then all those hardships turn into greater hardships because of a dream unfulfilled. And what he says is that this can be, this is a metaphor for how we live our lives, that we all have challenges and that we're all willing to make sacrifices. And that the tefillah here is that when we have that challenge, when we need to make that sacrifice, that those sacrifices be for something that is fulfilling, that those sacrifice be for a dream fulfilled, that that sacrifice not come to naught, but really to be in the service of a higher purpose. And that as we live our lives and we make those choices to sacrifice in certain instances, that those sacrifice be in the service of Hashem and that sacrifice be to greater good and greater prosperity in this world. So as we enter the Yom Kippur Tefillot, may this be a year when the challenges we face and the sacrifices we make see the fruits of success. May this be a year when the fruits of those successes be toward the service of a higher purpose and bring a greater sense of peace and prosperity to this world. תזכו לשנים רבות, נעימות וטובות.